Fresh fallout this morning from a Senate report detailing the CIA's interrogation techniques. Former Vice President Dick Cheney had a strong reaction to the report's release. It's a sort of a classic example, which you see too often in Washington, where a group of politicians get together and sort of throw the professionals under the bus. What happened here was that we asked the agency to go take steps and put in place programs that were designed to catch the bastards who killed 3,000 of us on 9-11 and to make sure it didn't happen again. And that's exactly what they did, and they deserve a lot of credit, not uh, the kind of uh, condemnation that they're receiving from the Senate Democrats. Some straight talk there. So will the CIA report encourage our enemies to kill Americans? 81% of you say absolutely in a brand new Fox poll. Pete Hegseth, a Fox News contributor and the CEO for Concerned Veterans for America, joins us now to discuss. Good morning, Captain. We're glad to have you here. Good morning. Thanks so for having me. So will this indeed embolden our enemy to take action to kill Americans? Of course it will. They, they don't need more emboldening. They're, they're already there. Uh, but this politicized cherry-picked, to quote the vice president, he's absolutely right, piece of crap, is the type of thing that gives more fodder to people looking for reasons to do us harm. You know, anytime you get squeamish about, re and I read the report, it, it, it isn't horrifying, it isn't mortifying, these are things we did to keep our country safe. Every time you wonder about those techniques, just take a look at a picture of someone jumping from the World Trade Center, That's of right. what these folks did and how far they go. That's a very crystallizing reminder of the depths they will go to, how they don't play by these rules, mm -hmm. and we, we're, we're sort of pl playing cultural suicide suicide here uh, through the way we go about navel gazing and, and blaming ourselves. Sure. We have another uh, Fox News question. It is this. How will this affect the military? Morale has gone down, what, 35 percent in just the past five years, uh, according to the uh, 45 percent, uh, according to military Absolutely. Uh, times, I believe that is the source of the poll. Right. You know, but for the people at the CIA or the people who are the boots on the ground, if, essentially, is if the commander in chief asks you to go do something, which they did, and then years later, politicians come in and try to get them in trouble. I mean, why bother? Yeah, it undermines the entire system. Uh, this is a commander in chief problem. That poll number, it was 90 percent uh, of, of, uh, of troops felt like they were being taken care of properly and they had a clear mission in 2009 at the end of the Bush administration. Just five years later, it's at 56 percent. And that's because the troops see a commander in chief that won't call the enemy what it is, that won't have their back when they make tough calls. And that's exactly what you said, Steve. This problem is whether it's intelligence operators or trigger pullers on the battlefield. If you're making a tough call in the moment or doing something difficult and dirty behind the scenes that you have to do in the face of a vicious enemy, you have to believe that your commander at any level is going to back you up that you made the best call you could and give you the benefit of the doubt. And across the board now, our operators at any turn are going to have to wonder whether some politicized report is going to throw them under the bus later yeah. on, and yeah. it's going to allow them to not do what they need to do when they need to do it. Wow. I mean, and to think of that paralysis when you're just attempting to protect the United States of America. And you wonder why morale is going down. Uh, Captain, thank you very right. much for joining us today. Thank you. Thanks, Pete.